What is up guys? We are back today for another random battle live. Very excited and uh, just want to address something from yesterday's episode. We did have a Tyrantrum on our live, the RU live of course, and Tyrantrum has been banned to, I, I guess, BL2, but I was not aware of this. I didn't really do my research, uh, but Showdown also didn't update their tier list, obviously, on the actual program, so I'm going to use whatever I have access to. I'm not going to hold myself back and... So we used Tyrantrum, we had fun with it, it was cool, head smashing things and missing a bunch of head smashes as well. Excuse me. And uh, we got this really cool background here today. Uh, I'm Team Litten, if you didn't know, hashtag Team Litten. And uh, look at this thing doing a dab, uh, courtesy of Pizzeria from uh, DeviantArt, I believe. Should be DeviantArt. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna jump into it here, guys, and try to get a battle right away. As we've got a Cryogonal versus a Blossom. So very good matchup for us, and we can just go for the Ice Beam. He switches into his Hypno, okay. Well, you take 27% from that, and I'm going for a Toxic. And he goes for a Thunder Wave, so we both got uh, both got a little bit of status off. Do we have any Heal Bellers on this team? No, we do not. We do have a Volcarona that can quiver up and win, it seems. And uh, I have no, oh, wait a minute. I do have a Thunder Wave switching. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do, right? We're going to go into Hydreigon on his next move, which is going to be a Wish. And on what I'm assuming to be a switch out, I'm going to U-turn, as he actually stays in. And now I'm going to go Zeb Strike Up, because I don't think he's going to... I think he's going to go for the T-Wave. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. We get the Lightning Rod. Awesome. All right, now we can just fire off a Wild Charge and pretty much knock something out. Obviously, the Blossom doesn't go down, but it'll go down to a... Uh... All right, well, never mind. Hypno is a lot bulkier than I thought it was. And uh, let's see. What am I going to go for here? Let's go for the... Well, yeah, wait a minute. We, Our special attack went up, not our attack. I'm going to go for the overheat right here as he goes into Gudra, so good play on his part. We are going to get that minus, uh, minus special attack right there. But I am going to be able to Volt Switch out on this thing and go right into Cryogonal, which has very good special defense. And his Hypno is at, like, no health now. I'm going to Dragon Tail us out into Quillfish. Cool. Can we do something with this? Yeah, let's get up a layer of Spikes. That works for me. He goes into his lantern. Okay. It's on a balloon. Um, are you water absorb or... You know what? It's safe to go for... Waterfall regardless. As he is water absorb, that's fine. He's going to volt switch. I don't really care. I don't really need this thing for anything from what I can see. He goes into Miss Magius. Okay. So he's got two things off the ground now that don't get affected by spikes. So that's fun. And uh, are we faster with Hydreigon? We are not... Let's just go Cryogonal. Cryogonal's fine here, I think. Let's see. We take the Shadow Ball quite well. It doesn't get the drop. And uh, we're able to recover right here, hopefully. Hopefully we don't get full parrot. As he's going to go into Hypno. Well, your Hypno's going to die now, buddy. As uh, I'm now going to go for the switch into Hydreigon, I believe. is fine. Yeah. And if he goes for Wish, he goes down. So There we go. We keep out his Gudra. We keep out his Blossom. Well, we keep out pretty much everything with this thing. Things ridiculous, and we are choice scarfed, so we will we'll be able to punch a hole right here. Goes into Sand Slash. Not really sure why. Just gonna go for the U-turn here. He's not gonna go for a, for an earthquake, so I'm gonna go into Quillfish and get the drop from the Intimidate as he goes for a Stealth Rocks. Okay, that's good. And uh, now we can Waterfall. We are faster. We are faster. So I'm actually just gonna uh, set up another layer of spikes here on what I'm assuming will be a switch. Yep, there we go. Gudra comes in. I'm going to pain split on this, get a bunch of health back. He's going to go for the Earthquake. It's going to come close to knocking us out, but not exactly. And I'm going to go for the T-Wave right here. Just get this thing paralyzed. And then nothing comes in on a Draco Meteor, so we should be good to go. And he goes for another Earthquake. I don't know if he's like Choice, Bandit, or something, but we do not have Hazard Removal. Cryogonal is typically a spinner, but not here. Um, I can just go Hydreigon, though. And I can just drop a Draco on this man. Uh, alternatively, I could also Dark, Pul Dark Pulse flinch him down. That would also be a play. And I think that's what I'm going to do. That's a crit, but uh, we are going to get the para there. And um, on what I'm assuming is going to be a Dragon Tail, I'm... Uh, do I really want to switch out? I definitely need this thing to beat the Miss Magius. So yeah, I'm going to go as a Striker here. See what, uh, what he goes for. He's going to go for the Dragon Tail. That's fine. 
and we get shot into Roserade, so that's okay too. What gets hit by Toxic Spikes? Pretty much um, only two Pokemon at this point, but I am going to go for it. Why do we have two Spikers on one team? Come on, random battles. I don't want to go for a Leaf Storm because he could be Sap Sipper. Um, I'm just going to go for my last layer of Spikes right here, as he's going to get Parrot again. That's not what I wanted, but uh, let's see. What's better? Another layer of Toxic Spikes or just one? Does this have Recovery? Yes, it does. I believe it gets Synthesis. Let's go for another layer, yeah. He's gonna go for Fire Blast. It's gonna come close to knocking us out. Basically, what I wanted was for him to knock us out so we could get a free switch. He's gonna get fully parried right there. Again, I'm just trying to get him to knock us out here. And he is. There we go. Cool. And now we can go into Cryogonal and fire off an Ice Beam. And we should be able to do a lot of damage. We should be faster even after the uh, the paralysis because we're both paralyzed. And get off a big hit to the point where Dark Pulse should be able to take him out afterwards. So, And we get fully parried on that turn. So does he. Awesome. So we're getting back health. So that's good. We do bring him down to 8%. He's going to go for the tail. And gets us into Volcarona which is what I wanted to avoid. But now I can just go for the Hidden Power Ground and should be good to knock this thing out. There we go. We are Life Orb, so uh, we, uh, we should also be faster than all of his team. So uh, his Lantern gets... Okay, well, this thing is the only thing that I was worried about. But after a Quiver, <coughs> I should be good to live anyone hit. Let's go for that. He's actually faster than us, but now we're faster than him. We're, we are 294. So take this Fiery Dance, Mr. Magius. Take it to the bank. He's actually going to switch out into his Blossom for no apparent reason. Um, oh, sacking it because I'm Life Orb, right? Okay, that makes sense. All right. Um, his Mr. Magius is Levitate. I need a little bit of prior damage on it. And how fast is Abstrika? 240? Yeah, that works. We are Hidden Power Grass, so we should be able to take out the Sand Slash in theory. But I think Hydreigon's just my best play because... I need to get off a U-turn on this. I need to be able to basically knock everything out with uh, with Dark Pulse. It's going to be a little bit difficult, but I'm going to go Cryogonal here on what I'm assuming is a Dazzling Gleam coming my way. Goes for Destiny Bond, actually. Okay. Interesting. He's going to knock us out here, I'm pretty sure. So, just going to go for the Ice Beam. He's going to go for the Shadow Ball. That's good. Going to go into Zipstrika, and I'm going to get off a lot of damage right here. Let's go for the Wild Charge. He is Water Absorb on his Lantern, so he can't switch into this. And he's going to Will-O-Wisp us, which is good. I'm just going to go for the Hidden Power Grass here, I think, is okay. Let's see. What do I need to do here? Yeah, let's go for Hidden Power Grass as he brings in the Sand Slash. Awesome. Okay, so we're able to get off a lot of damage on this as well. And uh, now it's definitely in Dark Pulse range. And we actually live that hit, so... I'm just going to Hidden Power Grass again, take this thing out, now we go back into Hydreigon, we hit that Dark Pulse and really hope we flinch this thing a couple of times because it's very specially bulky. Uh, what's the worst he can do to us though? Okay, well he can Thunder Wave us, that's that's pretty bad. He's going to go for the T-Bolt right there, going to get off the Dark Pulse, this thing has no recovery, it seems. He's going to get off the Thunderbolt right there as well, we are going to get fully parried. Come on, hit this one. Okay, alright, so we're just going to get hacked all the way down, so that's very unfortunate. Was he Life Orb? Uh, no, we, we actually got the Dark Pulse off on that turn, but there we go. All right, so that's going to be uh, that's gonna be game, and uh, we'll just hop into the next one here. And we get Spirit Tomb versus Pelipper, so again, not a great matchup. Um, I don't know if the last matchup was good. Yeah, it was. It was a good first matchup. What am I saying? Okay, so we have our Resident Sweeper here from our last UU Live. We also have, like, the UU Bulk Squad. Let's go for uh, Will-O-Wisp right here. He goes for Scald. Does not get the burn. There we go. And uh, now I'm going to... I'm going to Pain Split on his next Scald. I'm going to gain back a bunch of health. And now I'm pretty safe to go into Whimsicott on the next one. Just going to start timer on him. As he goes for another Scald, we're good. And I don't have a Grass move. Great. Okay, well, we'll go for the Moonblast. Should be able to do a lot of damage to this. Put it in range to die from burn, so gonna go for that wait he can hit me with a flying move and he does all right well trade whimsicott for pelipper not the best trade not the worst let's go why do we not have rock setters on any of our teams 
crazy. All right, let's go Cafagrigus. Okay, we have a status team this time. This team is like purely based on statusing everything. So he goes into Miltank. Miltank can't touch me. Let's go for Will-O-Wisp. Well, I mean, it technically could, but it needs like insane coverage. So we can burn something right here. It goes into Torkoal. All right, so we can't burn something right here. And uh, this thing doesn't scare me at all, though. Yeah, let's go. Ooh, wait a minute. I like this set. Let's go to I don't know. We're getting to I don't know. I think. Personally, should be a good play. I'm gonna not Mega Evolve. I'm just gonna go for the Calm Mind on the first turn, then hit him up with a Hyper Voice. Should do a good amount. Uh, maybe like 20. <laughs> but I think that's my best play right now. So I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna pause until he picks a move because he's taking a while with his Torque. Alright, so he decided to go for a Fire Blast, and he gets the burn. 10%. I mean, it's obviously gonna happen, right? Every time. Pretty much, it's, uh, it's pretty much Scald, so can't be mad about that. If you guys uh, can't detect sarcasm, well, that's what that was. Gonna go for the, uh, the Wish right here. Should be good to live uh, the next Fire Blast plus another one, I think, after the Calm Mind. We'll see, though, because of the burn, obviously. And uh, probably should have gone for Wish the first turn. That probably would have been the better play. Let's see what he does, though. He goes for Fire Blast, connects another one, so that's great. And uh, now you know what? You know what? I mean, he can have Will-O-Wisp, though. That's the only thing. Uh, you know what? I'm tired of this. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm tired of, uh, of getting hacked out. He's gonna go for the hidden power for no apparent reason. Don't know what that was. But I'm gonna belly drum here. And pray that it's enough. We'll see, though. If he keeps connecting fire blasts, that's just crazy. Like, there's no other word. Let's see what he does. I have, like, the worst team in existence right now. I have, like, three fairies. Please don't have Wisp. And he has Fire Blast, but he misses. Okay, some justice. I'm gonna go for the Drain Punch, get some health back, and do 45% to this thing. He's gonna go for a Fire Blast again. All right, that did way too much. What the heck? Uh, let's go for another one. He better not have priority on his team. Uh, actually, hold on a second. I think I might want to go for a. How much does his Fire Blast do? 52. No, I can't. I can't risk it. I gotta go for it. And really hope he misses again. Like, that's that's my only hope. But then Slurpuff can sweep. Like, with 310 speed and six, uh, 672 attack, like, it just destroys teams. So let's go. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, Slurpuff. Don't let me down, buddy. You're the best. You're the best wobbling over there. Come on. And this guy is taking more time with his Torkoal. He's about as slow as a Torkoal. <sighs> Look at this cloud, though. This cloud's awesome. Love the love what they did with the sprites, man. If you don't know, Pokemon Showdown, like, two years ago, everything was static. It was, like, 5th gen sprites, and then they brought this stuff in, and they started making the moves nicer and everything, and it was really, really, really nice. So, we are able to live right there. I'm gonna gain uh, back a little bit more health with the Drain Punch right here. And hopefully he doesn't have any source of, like, insane priority. Hopefully he has, like, Sucker Punch and he can't take us out. Have a Bisharp. Come on, go to your Bisharp, like, and that's what I want to see right now. I want to see a priority move that can't take me out. Okay, he goes Garchomp. We can definitely knock this thing out. The question is, do we go down ourselves? Is he Tank Chomp? And at that point, do I lose to Miltank? That's the question. If he is Tank Chomp, how much do we gain back from Drain Punch? Let's see. Garchomp. Give me Tank. And Slur Puff. Puff, Belly Drum, Drain Punch does 11, okay, yeah, no, that's not enough, that's not nearly enough, I need to go for the play rough, let's do it, okay, he's Mega, whoo, alright, so he even doesn't allow us to take any damage from the, uh, the rough skin, which is great, Whew. okay, alright, we can do this, go into something that's weak to fighting, come on, give me some health back, I just want, like, that reassurance that I'm gonna be able to live anything, <laughs> Even if I miss, like, a play rough or something. Come on. Go into mill tank right now. Let me go for that, uh, for that drain punch on you. It should be able to knock it out, I think. We'll see. But, uh, we were able to knock out the Garchomp. We should be able to get another kill right here. He goes into the mill tank. So let's just drain punch this. 
as we are able to take it out and we gain back enough health to pretty much take on whatever else he's got. He goes into Scavalier after like, after sacking half his team, he finally decides that, well, I've got a Pokemon that beats this thing, might as well go out onto it. Okay. All right. Well, I think, uh, I think just drain punching here is fine. I mean, Slurpuff's done its job. Look at that damage. That's great. And he goes for the resisted hit. Awesome. Okay. So I really need some points back on this ladder, obviously. <laughs> He, I mean, he might not have the Iron Head, that might have been his best move to hit me with, but, I mean, like, really? Do you really have an Escavalier without Iron Head? I very much doubt it. Because that's like, what, base 120 goes to 180, gets cut in half to 90, Iron Head goes to 160, so Iron Head would have probably not knocked me out anyway from the range I was at, because his Mega Horn did 43. Iron Head would probably have done less than double. So about 75, so we would have definitely lived. I think, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm calculating this at the top of my head, but he, uh, he goes into Shaman here. Not sure why. Uh, oh yeah, well it's his last Pokemon, right? So play rough, goodbye. All right, so we were able to pick that up with Slurpuff. Thank goodness. Woo! I really thought I was gonna lose there to his Torkoal. Like, that would have been pretty pathetic, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, we lost to a Lantern in game one, but anyway. He's gonna lead with Regirock, I'm gonna lead with Garbodor. This is a pretty good matchup for me. I mean, he can have the EQ, but I'm just gonna Toxic him here. We are faster, and uh, then we'll be able to get up some Toxic Spikes. I've been staying in first turn every time. Uh, I could technically go into my Sigilyph here on his Rocks, or, or Sand Slash. Sand Sl no, come on, I'm not Spin, and Hitmonchan's not Spin either. <sighs> All right, let's Toxic. Alright, well, guys, I keep getting garbage teams, I can't control it, like, I'm, I imagine that the person that's at the top of this ladder always gets, like, the best teams in existence, because, like, literally, what are you gonna do, uh, unless there's, like, some algorithm that I don't know about, about random battles, where, like, you always get, like, a certain type combination that I haven't noticed, um, there's no real way of knowing what your opponent has on their team, <clears throat> it's like Diamond Pro Platinum and every gen before it, um, except there's no competitive scene because you can literally have everything so he's gonna go to Crestle here we're gonna be able to break the sturdy with that and uh, just gonna go for the toxic spikes right here be able to wear down his team he has two rock types up until now so that's his stealth rocker cool cool gonna go for the gunk shot right here get a little bit of damage off on this thing not too much obviously because it is resisted and he is gonna go for spikes uh, that's a little bit annoying and uh, like I said before, I do not have a spinner, so this is bad. Uh, let's go Sand Slash, I think, is my play. We are leftovers, yeah, okay. Sand Slash is my play, he gets up another layer of spike. Let's see if he's got a ghost type. I'm curious. Let's go for that EQ. I don't know if EQ is actually going to be able to knock this thing out, as it does not. He's going to get his last layer of spikes, where I could have just easily rapid spin, but... Anyway, um, Sand Slash takes the Spikes plus Rock decently well because it has leftovers, and we also have a Sigilyph that's Magic Guard. I hope it's Magic Guard. I would be very upset if it wasn't, but Sand Slash pretty much keeps his Regirock Rock out, which is what I want to do for my Sigilyph, so that's why I went into this thing. The other reason was because it was the Pokemon that took the least amount of Rock damage and could knock out Crustle as well. So he goes Politoed. He is Rain. And, uh, we already toxic that, so we don't need to stay in here. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Here we go. Please don't be cursed body. Please don't be cursed body. Uh, uh, cursed body. Yes! Alright, we're water absorb. Awesome. Okay. So, we're gonna taunt right here. We are, uh, we're not faster than Politoed, but I'm taunting for whatever else comes out as well. And, uh, we're life orb. Ooh, wait a minute. He just gave us life orb attacks. I'm still gonna taunt regardless but this is uh okay so he's gonna protect okay um take some more poison damage with you i don't mind that at all and uh pretty much if his whole team is grounded we should be able to poison all of it so that's pretty good and we'll see uh we'll see what he wants to do here i would personally switch out into an offensive pokemon on what you know is going to probably be a taunt i'm definitely not going for scald on this thing there's no point i don't want him hitting me with a toxic for free he's gonna encore me into taunt 
All right, well, now you're taunted into probably your water move. So <laughs> I don't really understand that. It's probably his only offensive move, to be honest, or that or Ice Beam. But if he goes for Ice Beam, then I, I scald him. So <laughs> that doesn't really work. Um, I mean, if he freezes me, of course. But if he doesn't have anything other than Scald, he has to switch right here. As you see, he goes into Jinx. It's going to get poisoned as well. We're going to be able to taunt it, so it's not going to be able to like do anything crazy. It's got to attack us. And uh, it is in the rain. It's not dry skin, though. It's not dry skin. I don't think, anyway. Well, we didn't. I don't think we get a chance to see it because... He took poison. Poison goes last, I believe. But basically, right here, what I want to do is sack off my Garbdor because it has aftermath. I'm pretty sure he'll go for the psychic as he does. Cool. So we're going to get off the aftermath damage right here. And uh, oh, okay. Apparently not. Don't exactly know why, but does this thing have an ability that keeps it from. Is it oblivious? Maybe. Alright, so. Uh, another, ooh, wait a minute. We have Aqua Tail on this. That's cool. Uh, he was dry skin, I believe, right? Because he's still at 82. Let's see. Um, taunt, poison. Do, 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 do. The rain stopped before we got a chance to see it. No. So, uh, what's faster than this? Chinchino's the only thing that's actually faster. So, let me. Yeah, let me go into Chinchino. We're choice banded. So what I'm going to do is knock off. I'm going to try to get rid of an item on something. We'll be able to outspeed the Jinx and kill it with a knockoff. He chooses to go into Regirock, that's cool, because we'll get off its item as well. And he'll be taking poison damage from there on out. So we're pretty much just poisoning his entire team, which is amazing. Unless he has a heal bell or somewhere, uh, we should be good. And uh, Chinchino only has one more switch in because of these hazards, so... There's nothing I could do about that. I don't have a spinner. I don't have a defogger anywhere on the team. So, chooses to go into Gligar. That's great, actually. We're able to get rid of its Eviolite. That's awesome. All right, cool. Um, can we just set up on this thing with Sigilyph? Yeah, I'm gonna go Siggy. And um, should he choose to go back into Jinx? What will I do? He goes for the Earthquake. That's awesome. We're just gonna go for the. He can't status us. He can knock us off, but it's not going to do anything. Yeah, I'm going to go for Cosmic Power right here. I think if he switches into Jinx, I might have to switch out. We'll see, though. As he goes for the Defog. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, yeah. Just going to go for another Cosmic Power here. Now we should be able to live Jinx's Ice Beam no problem at plus two special defense. We're going to be at, like, 340. And that's at level 79, so that's incredible. And uh, let's see what he wants to do here. He's going to go for the Roost. That's not going to help you. Uh, let's go for the Psycho Shift here. I'm just doing this in case he has... Um, in case he has the knockoff. So we'll be able to take less damage. Like, incredibly less damage. Like, I won't be able to, to get another burn on me afterwards, but realistically, his entire team is uh, status other than the Red Rock. Hold on a second, no wait. That's actually important. I need to status that. So let me just go for another Cosmic. I can't I can't risk him having knock off and knocking off my uh, my Flame Orb right here. Even for the burn, like it's it's definitely not worth it because I need to status the Red Rock if I want to live its Rock hits. I know I have 344 defense, but you don't understand how powerful Rock Stab is. Like, you see Stone Edge and stuff on, on Pokemon like uh, like Garchomp and, and Landorus, but it's... Yeah, you see? Well, we would have gotten it off on this, but I can just go for it now and Psycho Shift the Burn onto it. He can't do anything to us. We're Magic Guard. We're, we're pretty much good. Like... Even if he poisons us, it doesn't matter. Uh, he goes for the rock slide. As you can see, that does absolutely nothing because of the burn. That's so good. Uh, I'm just going to go for another cosmic here, uh, honestly. And I don't think crits go through burn, so he, we should be good to go. He goes for the rest here. I'm just going to go for the stored power at this point. It's uh, What base power is it? It's base power 180 right now. And this is hitting on the special side. Whoa, okay. 
Uh, wait, he, he woke up? I didn't even see that. I could have psycho shifted him again. And he got a crit on that rock slide. Oh, man. All right, well, hold on. We should be good to go with him on Chen. We'll go for the, uh, do we start bulking up here? I think we win if we bulk up. How many bulk ups does it take to knock out Jinx? Jinx. And you special attacker versus Hitmonchan. Rapid spin. Uh, what are we? What do we have on this? Life Orb, Iron Fist. Life Orb, Iron Fist. Awesome. Are we adamant? I don't even know. It doesn't matter. Uh, Mock Punch normally does this. What? What? what wait, what? Really? 78 to 93? Okay, yeah, well, Bulk Up wins. As he goes into his Gligar, okay, well, goodbye. <laughs> Apparently, this thing is ridiculous. Uh, and he lost his EV Light, so this is going straight down. Straight down. I think we just sweep his team now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because if it does that much to j Okay, well. Now you just definitely put yourself in Mach Punch range. It might have not killed before, I don't know, but the Calc said it did. Uh, and we can Drain Punch something at any time. We're going to go for a Mach Punch on his Jinx here. And we should be good to go with this. We do not know what his last is. But we have a pretty solid team behind us. And he was able to get rid of all the hazards for us. So really cool. And, uh... Okay, I think I'm going to put Hitmonchan on the thumbnail right now. Hold on a second. Is Hitmonchan about to 5-0 sweep this guy? Because if it does... Are we faster? Hold on. 170, 152. Give me that health. Give it over. There we go. <laughs> All right. We're in business. That thing's gone. And, uh, yeah, I think it won't chance sweeps. Like, if he's not bringing out his last Pokemon, well, I mean, it's random battles, so we never know what kind of player we're against, but he does have a Dedene. Dedene resists Mach Punch. Dedene can go for Nuzzle. That's not good. I'm just gonna keep this. What do I lose by keeping this? Honestly. I'm just gonna switch out. On his Volt Switch, yeah. Yeah, 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 I see you. Nice try. Alright, well, let's go for the... Honestly, let's just go for Sword Dance. He has Grass Knot. Okay. Well, that does next to nothing. Just gonna go for the EQ here. And we should outspeed his last two. And uh, with 418 attack, I know that Gligar doesn't have its item, but if he lets this go down, like I could have just knocked it out right there and won the game with him on Chan. Or he can still let me do it. There we go. So that should be it. Sand Slash killed Crustle technically was the poison, but it also took out the Dene, and I think it might be able to take out, well, not this. This thing has immunity, right? Hmm. Let's just go for the knockoff. He's faster than us, actually. Okay. And uh, we're able to get off some solid damage with knockoff. That did 40%. So that puts him in range of Ice Punch, which is awesome. I'm just going to go into Hitmonchan and fire off that Ice Punch. If at any time he goes into Regirock, I'm just going to bulk up. That way, I can just keep alternating and going for Drain Punch, and it'll be doing more and more to Gligar every time. He goes for an Earthquake, gets a crit there. It's not going to matter. I'm going to knock out his Gligar, and Drain Punch should finish it off on Regirock. We already know he was Chestoberry. I can't believe I didn't see him wake up before. Sorry about that, guys. I mean, with the burn, he would have definitely not taken us out. Um, he is 128 speed, so... Yeah, let's... <laughs> do, do we flex on him? Oh, you know what? You know what? Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna Ice Punch. And I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put it all on the line right here. And I'm gonna go for Chinchino. Ta Aqua Tail right now. Here we go. Please don't miss Chinchino. <laughs> he forgot the defog clears both sides. And we're able to pick up the kill with Chinchino's Aqua Tail. There we go. I, I didn't even know that was a thing on Chinchino. I'm drafting this thing next season. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. It's longer than I wanted it to be for three battles, but it's really fun. Uh, again, if you uh, if you enjoy these uh, these episodes, subscribe if you want to see more. Hit a, leave a like for me if you did enjoy this one specifically. Leave a comment if you have any questions. If you, if you want to join me on any one of my lives, as I always say, I'm open to have pretty much anybody on the channel that wants to come on. All you need is a good mic and a Skype or a Discord account. 
and relatively good knowledge of Pokemon, just a little bit. I mean, like, even if you've only played, like, the first two gen games, that's fine. Come on, and we'll try to have some fun. If you know the game mechanics, you're pretty much good, so. Uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's gonna wrap it up, guys. Thanks again for watching, and ciao.